there, there are a couple seats. If you're by an empty seat, can you raise your hand if anyone wants to come in? Or if you want to buy, be by the wall, that's cool. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming this evening. My name is Jasmine Allender. I am a proud parent of a fourth grader at an MPS school. I'm not saving those changes. I'm not saving that budget. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, until last month, I have to tell you that I wasn't a very active parent. I helped out a little bit at my daughter's school. Um, I would go to parent-teacher conferences, but mostly I took public school for granted. And then on February 16th, our PTA asked for a meeting with school board um, president Michael Bonds, and he came to our school, we had about 200 parents there, and he came to tell us the devastating news that the projected cuts to K through 12 statewide would be so deep that NPS as we know it might not survive. For my own daughter's elementary school, at this point, we are looking at probably a 33% cut to our teaching staff. Wow. We will lose our librarian. We have one of the best Spanish-English language libraries in the state. We will lose our art teacher. She designed the shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> we will lose our math teacher leader. We will lose about six other teachers. We will lose our SAGE program, which keeps class size small for K-5 through third grade. We're losing things that we know work in our schools. Our school is a beautiful elementary school and it will be a shell of its former self in September if this budget goes through. So I left that February meeting a different person because when I was confronted with that kind of unthinkable news, it was a moment that made me question where, where are my deepest convictions? And I can tell you right now that I believe that public schools are the essence of our democracy. a more perfect union. And when our entire public school system is under threat, as it is now, I feel every bone in my body that I must fight. And I will fight, and I'm not going to fight for just my own child, and I'm not going to fight for just my own school, and I'm not going to fight just for NPS. I am going to fight for every child in the state of Wisconsin. February, I came together with some other parents who are in this room to form a group called I Love My Public School. Can everyone who has participated so far, we're small, and I Love My Public School, please stand up. And over the past three weeks, we have been transformed. We have begun to attend school board meetings. We speak out. We made t-shirts. <laughs> we made a website so that we could get information to other parents. We attended a Senate hearing last week. A long Senate hearing. We gave testimony. We wrote letters to the editor, to our legislators. We connected with other groups. We want to form a broader coalition. And to do that, we want to connect with all of you. We need all to be in this fight together, and we're asking you to join us tonight. At some point, I'll pull up our website. Or somebody else will do it. Jeff, thank you. Go DPI. So, <laughs> let me tell you for a moment about why parents have a particularly powerful role to play in this fight. We've heard a little bit from Jeff and from Chris. But I also want to tell you that we have power because this is about our children. No one, thank you, can advocate more convincingly and more passionately for our children than we can. Elected officials are accountable to us. Our children can't vote. But they do have a lot to tell us about their hopes and dreams for the future. They have a lot to tell us about their schools. A third grader from my daughter's school wrote a letter that we shared with 
uh, legislators with senators last week, a third grader who wrote, Dear Senators and Representatives, please don't let things be unfair. MPS really needs more money so kids can learn more math, get exercise, be creative in art, read books in the library that are in English and Spanish, and sing a lot. Our school needs a lot of help because we won't have all of these things next year. No math teacher leader, no art, library, music, or gym. Kids need these things. Yes, they do. Even if parents try to teach their kids these things, it's not the same as if kids learn these things in school. My education is really important to me. Please help things be fair. Help our school and help NPS. So that's a letter, for, that's a voice from a third grader. Now as a parent talking to other parents, how many parents do you have in the room? My daughter tell you you're not cool because you are. <laughs> I cannot promise you that if we come together and we raise our voices, I can't promise you that our actions will work. What I can promise you is that if we don't do it, if we do not join together, if we do not fight for our kids now, if we do not raise our voices now, our public school system will be devastated. Their futures are on the line right now. A little bit later in the evening, you're going to be given an opportunity to join up uh, with our email list or our phone list at I Love My Public School. Thank you again for being here tonight. And I want to make it clear, you all know that you're at a meeting and not a rally, right? Right. 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 <laughs> that doesn't mean we can't bring a little spirit and a little emotion from all the rallies that have been going on in this room right now. I'm scared to do this because I'm not a rally leader. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway because this is my fantasy when I woke up this morning. <laughs> so I'm going to say parent, and you're going to say power. Got it? Yes. All right. I say parent, you say... Power! I say parent, you say... Power! I say parent, you say... Power! Oh, we're going to fight this. This, this process has made us find a lot of gifts that we didn't know we had. 